Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy Hobo here again, and we are breaking down yet another week in the NFL. It is week 14. We have progressed very nicely through a lot of football. Seems like very quickly. Uh, I don't believe that it's been 14 weeks since the season started, but uh, I guess I'm just going to have to take um, the entire world's word for it. But i got to give you the condensed version. Forgot to film these last night, so I'm in a bit of a, a rush, a crunch, if you will, to get these out. So we'll start with the Thursday night game. It is the Cowboys and the Bears. I am going with Chicago in a big-time upset. Then on Sunday... It's the Redskins and the Packers. I'm taking the Packers. Then the Lions and the Vikings. I like the Vikings. Then we're going to go Broncos, Texans. Give me some Texans. As I just run a play really quick so you're not looking at the, the pre-snap. Then it is Ravens and the Bills. One of the best, one of the better games of the entire week. And uh, I'm going to go with the Ravens. I don't think that's a surprise to anybody. Oh yeah! Woo! Excuse me, but like I said, I didn't say anything about this, but I'm a bit tired. <laughs> and there's your first hand proof. So I'm going with the Ravens over the Bills. Then it's Bengals Browns. I'm gonna take the Cincinnati Bengals in a big, big upset. Yeah. And the Browns will be close to elimination then the 49ers and the Saints the game you're watching here just a little preface for you I don't know why the Saints are wearing these garbage uniforms because I just did the freaking exhibition play now on Madden on my PC and it decided that it wanted to give me these garbage uniforms so I hope they don't wear those on Sunday afternoon because that would be terrible but I'm gonna go with the San Francisco 49ers. Then we have the Panthers and the Falcons. I'm going to take the Carolina Panthers in a bit of a bounce back game. Then the Dolphins and the Jets. I am going to pick the Miami Dolphins to complete the season sweep of the New York Jets. They've won four straight against the New York Jets and it's gonna be five on Sunday. Then the Colts and the Buccaneers. Give me the Buccaneers. You know why? Because I'm rooting for the Texans to go to the AFC Championship at the very least. So I need the Colts as far away from the wild card as possible. So I'm taking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Then the Chargers and the Jaguars. Um, <laughs> the Jags have lost four straight by 17 plus, And the Chargers have lost like every single game over the past two years by like a point or a possession or some shit. No, I mean that's not the stat. It was only this year they lost every game by a possession. Last year they were winning games by a possession. Oh no! I'm not even going to try to hide it anymore. Yep, when I'm tired I'm just going to flaunt it. Flaunt it for the whole world. But um, I think I'm going to take the Chargers. They're pretty much done in the AFC West, so this game really doesn't matter. But I'm going to take L.A. Then the Steelers and the Cardinals. Cardinals got uh, Cardinals got thrashed, let's say, <laughs> last week against uh, the Rams. And the Steelers, I think, are just mediocre at best. And I hope they get into the playoffs so that way they can get smacked by, like, Houston or somebody in the first round. Which would be comical to me because I hate the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I think Devlin Hodges is maybe on the same level as Dwayne Haskins on a good day. So I'm going to take Pittsburgh nonetheless. I just don't think that uh, Arizona has what is what is necessary to beat a team with a winning record. Seeing as they haven't done that this season. And then the Titans and the Raiders. This is a big game for Tennessee as they're making a playoff push. And I'm going to pick them. I think they're going to get to 8-5, and five, and Ryan Tannehill is going to lead this team to the wild card round as I, as I give up passes because I suck. Give up first downs because I suck. Then the Chiefs and the Patriots. The Patriots have won 18 consecutive home games, including a game against these Kansas City Chiefs. Hmm. 
it's kind of tough because we saw what two good, two great offenses can do against this Patriots defense in Baltimore and Houston. And I think that Chiefs are probably the only other offense in the league that can match up with those two squads. And, I mean, they are a shell of last year's self, if, if you would. Uh, they aren't the explosive big play, you know, drop 40 on your game. Oh, I hate this. But they aren't that kind of offense that they were last year. And, I mean, the Patriots defense clearly is, <laughs> is super overrated when it comes to playing great teams. Um, but I don't know. I mean, Brady Brady looked terrible on Sunday night. Excuse the final two drives because they did not matter in that game. It, I mean, uh, they're just not that good, but I don't want to pick Kansas City, but I have to pick Kansas City because I don't believe in New England. So I'm going with the Chiefs. Then the Seahawks and the Rams on Sunday night football. This is a rematch from, uh, from about, what, a month and a half ago maybe? I don't know. Time seems to just blend together nowadays. But the Seahawks won that game, and I think they're going to win this game too. Then we have the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles on Monday night. I don't know why they put these garbage games on in primetime. Like, they don't want ratings or something. And they want to torture these fan bases because both of these teams suck ass. Look at how bad I am. That was terrible. I used the middle linebacker, and I still gave up a touchdown pass. Jesus. But, uh... You know, just for shits and giggles, because I am a Giants fan, I'm going to pick the Giants. I really, really don't care. Just, it hurts to be a Giants fan. Especially because the Eagles have beat us nine out of the last ten times we've played. I hate that. I hate it all. But what I don't hate is football, in general. And I'm going to enjoy a lot of it tonight, in this weekend. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you do the same thing. And I'll catch you guys next week.